look at this curl oh my gosh what the heck you guys i literally have never seen my hair like this before i'm tired after that that is a lot of work kudos to people who do that multiple times a week oh my god hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be showing you my full attempt at the curly girl method my whole life i have thought that i had straight hair with a very very subtle wave but after i heard about the curly girl method i wanted to give it a try to see if i actually maybe have slightly wavier hair than i had originally thought so if you guys are not familiar with the curly girl method essentially Essentially, it is a hair care routine that trades out damaging practices and products like using heat for styling or like shampoo for a regimen that is curly girl approved. This method incorporates avoiding things like using heat on your hair, using shampoos, using fragrances. You're not supposed to use any combs or brushes. You're not supposed to use products with sulfates. And you are also not supposed to use products with silicones that are non-water soluble. Now, I wanna give a huge shout out to the girl whose regimen I followed to a T for this video. Her Instagram name is Lady Sylph. She has a whole highlight where she shows her entire routine. Also, if you guys would like to try out this routine, I will link every single product that I used in this video in the description below. And finally, there are two more things that I quickly want to mention before we get into this video. So the first thing is that, yes, I'm fully aware that I do not have curly hair. My hair has a very loose wave pattern. I don't want people to think that I'm claiming to have curly hair because I am not by any means. And the second thing that I want to mention is that I am not an expert in any of this whatsoever. I am a complete noob at the curly girl routine, so I'm sure that I got some stuff wrong in this video. Please feel free to flood the comment section of this video with any tips and suggestions that you have for me to perfect this routine. With that being said, let's finally get into the video where I show you guys my attempt at the curly girl method. We are about to do, or I am about about to do the quote unquote final wash. I'm going to be using the daily clarifying shampoo by Suave and I'm also going to be using the Not Your Mother's Natural Curl Defining Conditioner. I think that's good enough. Oh, it smells really good. Hello. Okay. Whoa, dizzy. Okay, I feel like that's good. I'm gonna rinse it out now. My hair feels so clean. All right, now I'm gonna use the Not Your Mother's Naturals Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Conditioner. It smells amazing, and that is how much conditioner I'm gonna be using. And with this one, they recommend you to like flip your hair over, so I'm gonna do that. And then they also recommend you to like basically just scrunch it. This looks really weird. Bounce it or scrunch it into your hair. I'm sorry guys with the visuals and not like drag it through your hair. Just like this basically. Interesting. I have not ever done this before and it already looks like I have some sort of wave pattern. Okay, so now I wait, I think like five to 10 minutes to let the cuticles in my hair soak up all of the conditioner and then I can rinse out the conditioner. So it has been about seven minutes and I am going to rinse out the conditioner. All right, so I'm already noticing something that is different than when I typically wash my hair. This is the hair that was in the drain, and I don't know, to some of you guys, that may be a lot, but for me, that is nothing. Usually, I literally lose like clumps of hair when I wash my hair, so that's awesome. The next step is to dry your hair, which does not incorporate a towel at all or any heat. So the first thing to do is to flip your hair according to the regimen that I am following and kind of just go like this. We're now gonna go in my living room. It's really hard to film like this. And I'm going to do something called plopping, which I will show you guys in my living room. Basically, I have a cotton long sleeve shirt here and I'm going to be drying my hair in this shirt for about a half hour and this is how you do it basically plop your head down like this 
and you basically just want to like wrap your hair in this towel i mean t-shirt not or a long sleeve shirt not towel so i'm just tying this in the back and i'll show you guys what it looks like i'm gonna let this like soak up the moisture in my hair for a half hour and then i will return and show you guys what my hair looks like okay you guys so it has been about 45 minutes since the shirt has been in my hair whoa oh my gosh look at this curl oh my gosh what the heck i am absolutely shocked right now you guys i literally have never seen my hair like this before look at that from just the final wash i thought that putting all of that conditioner in my hair would just make it really straight and weigh it down but it did not at all mm, i'm really really excited to continue with this this is the front in three days, I will be using the diffuser, but for now, I'm just going to let it air dry and I will see you guys when it is all dry. Okay, so my hair is not dry, but I wanted to show you guys, look at this strand of hair. It is literally such a nice wave. People with curly hair are probably watching this and being like, that is nothing. For me, it is something. Okay, anyway, back to letting my hair dry. My hair is now fully dried. This is the official curl pattern for day one of trying the curly girl method. And I'm already seeing lots and lots of waves, which is very promising for how my hair is gonna look in a few days when I do the actual curly girl method. Okay, you guys, so this has been the final wash. It has been a huge success, and I'm super excited to continue on with this video. So I will see you guys in a few days back in my bathroom when I wash my hair again. Hello, guys. Okay, so I am about to wash my hair. We're about to do the legit curly girl method. So I'm about to wet my hair, and then we're going to start with the first product, which is a co-wash. All right, so this is the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash Cleansing Cream Conditioner, and you're just supposed to apply this as you would a shampoo, but you're supposed to focus on like both the ends and the roots. The girl that I followed, she says to apply it in your hair upside down. By the way, I did not comb my hair before filming this. I mean, I haven't brushed my hair at all, <laughs> so. All right, I'm just gonna focus this on the roots. Although it is a cleansing co-wash, it is by no means a shampoo whatsoever. It applies pretty much just like a conditioner. All right, so now we are moving on to the Not Your Mother's Naturals Curl Defining Conditioner. I used this the other day and I really liked it, but I'm only applying this on the ends and not the roots. So right now I am losing some hair, but I think that's because I have not brushed my hair at all. So no hair has really fallen out within the last three days. And I think it's just all like coming out now. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for about five minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out and then we're gonna move on to a deep conditioner. All right, so it's been five minutes and I'm gonna rinse it out now. Now I'm on to the Not Your Mother's Naturals matcha green tea wild apple blossom nutrient rich deep conditioning butter mask and it smells absolutely amazing i'm gonna be using that much i don't know if you guys can see that i don't know if you guys can see but still losing some hair but again definitely because i'm not like doing what i typically do which is run my fingers through my hair when i condition which usually gets out like a ton of hair and then also i'm not brushing it so that's why. So I will see you guys in 15 minutes. So I rinsed out the conditioner and my hair is soaking wet. So now we are going to move on to the next products. So I'm going to be standing up here. I have to flip my hair over like this. This is a really weird angle, but basically you're just supposed to like front your hair first. Absolutely no towels to dry it or anything like that. 
I feel like I look like the grudge right now. Now I'm gonna be applying this leave-in conditioner. This is the As I Am leave-in conditioner. Scrunch it in your hair. The regimen that I'm following says that all of the products that I use after the shower have to be applied in sopping wet hair. Next, I'm gonna be using this Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. Oh, is that too much? We'll find out, I guess. Oh my gosh, it smells, it smells so good. Here we go. I haven't used mousse in my hair in like 15 years. All right, so next I'm gonna be using this LA Looks Extreme Sport Hair Gel. <laughs> I have actually never in my life put hair gel in my hair. So it's just the same thing that I did the other day. Lop. Lap. Oh my gosh, I'm tired after that. That is a lot of work. Kudos to people who do that multiple times a week. Oh, I feel like I need to take a nap now. Anyway, I am gonna let this sit for 30 minutes and then when I get back, we're gonna use a diffuser, which I am really excited for because I feel like that is definitely gonna like help bring out more of the wave in my hair. So I will see you guys in 30 minutes. Okay, so it has been 20 minutes now, and I am going to take this out. Let's see how it looks. Wait, let me get my mirror so I can look at it. I'm just curious to see how the wave... Wow. Oh my god. It's like 10 times wavier than the other day, I feel like. Now, I'm gonna take the diffuser. If you guys like don't know what this is, it's a regular blow dryer and most blow dryers come with this attachment. So if you guys have a blow dryer at home, you probably have one of these unless you threw it away. And basically you're supposed to diffuse each section for 10 to 15 seconds on the cool setting. And then when you go from section to section, you're supposed to shut off the blow dryer so that it reduces frizz. Also, the routine that I'm following says that you're only supposed to dry your hair halfway. So that's what I'm going to do. That took a lot longer than expected. Once my hair is fully dried, I will come back and show you guys the finished final results. So I just wanted to come on here really quick. My hair is not fully dried, but the waviness is definitely there and it is more prominent than it was the other day when I did the final wash. But so far it just looks really different than how it typically looks. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this. Hey guys, so my hair is fully dried now and I really feel like it does look so much wavier than it did the other day. And not only do I feel like it looks wavier, but I also just feel like it looks a lot less frizzy, just a lot more like tamed, I guess, which makes sense because I put like so many products in it um, and so many conditioners. But yeah, this is my natural wave pattern. One thing is that it took a really, really long time to dry and I think I think that was because there were just a lot of products in it and I think at a certain point I thought it was still wet but it really was just that like the gel and the mousse makes it feel wet but it's really not so let me do a 360 spin for you guys I'm interested to see what it's gonna look like tomorrow and unfortunately my roots do feel a little bit greasy still or oily. So I guess that's only one downside. Another thing, by the way, is to quote unquote scrunch out that crunch. So if you have what feels like a lot of products in your hair, they recommend you to like flip your hair around and just like scrunch it out when it dries to try to scrunch out the crunchy feeling, any residual product. All right, I think I'm gonna update you guys tomorrow, show you guys what my hair looks like tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. <laughs> Okay, I'm just coming on here straight up. This is what my hair looks like. My hair doesn't look nearly as wavy or the waves are not as tight as they were yesterday. So one thing I will say, I think I used too many products. I know that the girl that I followed for this regimen said that when you're doing the curly girl method, it's not really possible to use too many products, but I just feel like either my hair is not used to having this many products in it, or maybe my hair is just 
just too oily or just like not dry enough for all of those conditioners. It's one of those two things. The gel I used and the mousse, those were totally fine. The co-wash I actually think worked great for my hair. The part that I think I would alter in the future for me is I would not use as many conditioners. I don't think that this is my hair's like natural, natural texture just because I have read that you need to do the curly girl method numerous times over to get your hair to its healthiest potential. So this is the end of the last update and now on to the outro. It has actually been over a week since I filmed the last clip that you guys saw. I have since adjusted my routine to I think better suit my hair. So I just wanna update you guys on where I am currently at. So I realized that previously I had said that I think I used too many products on my hair. I actually completely take that back. Over the last week, I've washed my hair every other day and I've realized that when I use fewer conditioners or when I use less conditioner, my hair is more frizzy. And when I use more conditioner, my hair is a lot more sleek. It's just a lot softer it's not as frizzy it honestly helps my waves to become more apparent also I have started to use more gel and more mousse I don't know the science behind it but it seems to be working out really well for my hair so there are two things that I want to touch on that I totally goofed on in this video and I just didn't even realize that they needed to be done first of all I was struggling with day two hair I don't know it just looked like all of my waves had completely just flattened out I was was just thinking like maybe this routine is not for me but after looking more into it I realized that I was doing two things wrong so first of all I was just sleeping on my hair down now yes I was sleeping on a satin pillowcase but my hair was completely down as I was sleeping and as I was moving around in the middle of the night I was completely flattening out the waves in my hair so it should have been no surprise to me that by day two my hair pretty much looked straight I am trying to learn the best way for me to sleep on my wavy hair right now I am doing what I think is called a pineapple bun or a pineapple something where you just basically put your hair up really high loosely so that you preserve as much of the wave as possible and that seems to be working out really well for my hair and the second thing that I totally goofed on in this video is I did not know that you needed to refresh day two hair but I now know that it is a key step in this routine especially if you have looser waves like me basically what I've been doing is on day two I I will just wet my hands and then I will just scrunch my hair and I'll periodically do that until my waves are reactivated if that's the phrase from what I've read the reason why this works is because I use gel in my hair as you guys have seen and by me lightly wetting my hair and scrunching it it is reactivating the gel which is helping to make my waves more clear more visible by doing all of the things that I have shown you in this video and that I just explained that is how I have achieved this hair. Now, as I said, this is completely a learning process. I have so much more to learn, so much, I don't know, I just, there's so much more for me to figure out about this routine. So I don't think that this is me perfecting it by any means. And I'm really excited to continue this journey and learn more. Yeah, this has been my curly girl method video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys would like to see a video of my hair care routine from back when I was not doing the curly girl method, I will put that video up here. And also if you guys would like to see a video where I showed you guys how I do the apple cider vinegar hair rinse i will put that video right here so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you guys next time